A shooting in downtown Paris has killed at least three people. The alleged attack wounded several others. Police say the suspect targeted a Kurdish cultural center in the central part of the city. The 69-year-old man was arrested shortly after the shots rang out. CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi joins us now. Roxana, it's great to see you. Obviously, the investigation is still early. What more do we know about this shooting and the suspect in custody? Well, Meg, French authorities say the gunman opened fire at the Kurdish community center and at a nearby restaurant and hair salon. Witnesses describe seeing him shoot into the center and then go into the salon, acting silently and calmly as he wielded a pistol. The Paris prosecutor says one woman and two men were killed, at least three others injured. She also says the suspect was injured in his face and taken to the hospital. She says he'd been involved in at least two other criminal cases. In fact, he'd recently been released released from prison after attacking tents at a migrant camp with a sword last year. Authorities say they arrested him today without resistance. Now, while they have not identified the Kurdish center by name, CBS News sources say it's the Ahmed Kaya Center, where many minority ethnic Kurds from Turkey, some from Iran and Iraq have spent time. Minority Kurds from those countries have often uh, acted and been activists for more rights in those countries. The center is used in Paris by a charity that helps integrate the Kurdish population into the local community. A Kurdish activist at the scene there now told me that all three victims today were Turkish Kurds. She knows at least one of them, whom she says is a women's rights activist and a friend who was shot inside the center today. Megan Bradley. Roxana, are there any details at this point about a motive for the attack? Um, we do not know yet. Uh, what we do know is that the authorities have been describing the 69-year-old man as a Caucasian, of the 69-year-old gunman as a Caucasian and of French nationality living in Paris. They haven't released his name yet. The interior minister of France say the shooter is a retired train driver and was, quote, clearly targeting foreigners, but he also says it's not certain that the gunman was aiming to kill Kurds in particular and uh, that the investigation is ongoing. But we do know the French president, Emmanuel Macron, just tweeted moments ago, the Kurds of France have been the target of a heinous attack in the heart of Paris. The Paris prosecution office says there's no evidence yet that the shooter was affiliated with an extremist ideological movement. Roxana, we're also uh, hearing about protests unfolding in the streets. How big are they? Yeah, skirmishes have broken out in the neighborhood between angry demonstrators and police, though we hear that they are starting to disperse. The Kurdish activist I spoke with earlier who was on the ground there said Kurds had gathered there, very upset that the French authorities have not done more to protect their community. They say they have been warning the police of threats to Kurdish targets. Now, today, some protesters set fire to garbage cans and shouted slogans against Turkey's president. The police have tried to disperse them with tear gas. Today's shooting took place almost a decade after three Kurdish activists were killed in Paris. France's interior minister says he's ordering tighter security at Kurdish meeting places in France. Megan Bradley. Ugly scene unfolding there. Roxana Saberi, thank you so much. You're welcome.